is radical up there. Those are very steep stairs. My wife's got major back problems. That would not be good. No. Um, I see what it says on Oh, what is that? Sounds like someone's skipping. And you can't do that with this. Cause... No. That was weird. Yeah, it was. So I ran into these cool guys. Oh, that is know. Pat. And this is Robin, and she's been in so many places that I've been, like we were talking. She has one of the most requested haunted rooms. Now you said you heard something earlier, right? Well, like we have lipstick on our lives. You can go check that out. We lipstick? Like, came in here. Yeah. My mom said that toilet paper thing I noticed was it in here. But there was lipstick. What? Yeah, so we left it. So oh, I see it. Right? <laughs> the lipstick mark there. I'm showing you a really nice room, okay? Like, my room is not this nice. Did you go out there? My friend came here once, and she stayed. And, uh, she stayed for murder by death with that show. You know, and then, um, she ended up blacking out. And when she came to, she was, like, praying on the foot of the bed. And really? she was covered in vomit. What? Yeah. And then she came to again. So she, she kind of got possessed. I yeah, was, no, I was actually did. wondering. Sorry, I didn't just let you know. What was that? That was weird. Supposedly the staff say something about like happy ghosts. Like this whole place is just filled with happy ghosts. But I was wondering if anybody's been possessed here. So you said you're friend. Well, like she kind of did something like right when she got here. She was like, it was Halloween. Uh -huh. and so she just jumped in and she was like, I'm the leprechaun. And she didn't know like he's actually like Irish. Oh. Uh, Mr. Stanley? Mr. John Raven, Lord John Raven. That's the guy who had the land, I think. That's the Stanley back in the day. That's so pretty. So we came back outside, and this is that lodge that we were at earlier. Anyways, we are going to try to go explore that building also known as the concert hall i hear it's one of the most haunted places here on the stanley property and we're gonna go find out why right in front of the concert hall here hanging out with robin she's a paranormal investigator she said that we can get in here let's see if we can now from what we were told there's an old woman named lucy that froze to death here years ago and she haunts this building Oh, it's open. You saw something down here? Well, I saw something here. It's something grabbing me, like my arm or something. And then, in the room, I saw a black thing about like this big belt. Like, just like a little shadow. Whoa. And I went across the beach. Hey, check it out, the twins yes. from The Shining. You could actually take pictures. Want some wine? Not sure if we're supposed to be down here. But yeah. It's cool. And this is the room where the tour guy when we were down here with him said that there was a kid who killed himself or something. A kid killed himself in here? Well like that's like the story right that he was I, I don't know. You know it's weird? As soon as I walked in here my battery just started dying. Look I'm not even I'm not a full charge. I gotta go spare that. Because maybe it'll recharge, right? You ever notice that? Whoa. Look at the foundation of the basement. Whoa. 
What do you think you heard right now? Just two words, but a female, like, hissy. Like. As I was changing my battery right now, Robin said she heard two words from, like, a female. I mean, it's an old building. No, that was like a really loud day. <laughs> that was like, you heard something else, or was that in the bathroom what we both heard? I didn't think it was in the bathroom. I thought it was out here or somewhere. I thought it was like something bang in this place. I don't know. Maybe it was the twins over there. Maybe. Did you jump? Did you run into that? Look, even the other ones are moving. Is there like a wind or draft no, here? Dude, that went like, oh, what's happening? Get what? My body. Get my body up. Dude, that's creepy. That's cool. Thank you. Do you think you heard a voice right there? I heard something. I think we might just kind of forget ourselves out here. Did you hear that breath? No. You have really good ears. Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Oh, that just... I don't know, that sounded like a bad word to me. So have you ever, whoa, said something right when I started talking. Have you ever had that spirit box freeze up on you during an investigation? Yeah, I've had a bad experience. I've had like a weird alien monster on the bottom of the wallet. So it was like a surge, it's like a surge again. Mm. And it's like, <laughs> it's like really weird. I'm really not a place to say I'm both feeling like I'm not just doing this. That's a cloth in the hair? Yeah, it's a Whoa. You know how to mold it? It's just like really powerful. Huh. <laughs> what did that say? Powerful. Huh. <laughs> that hurt something over here. Probably take the spirit box session upstairs. So I don't think. I mean, it's like right when she turned it on, I heard what I thought. You know, it's a bad word. This is not it. You know what I could picture in here? Like I don't know. I got this strange vibe that they they've done funerals in here before. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Like, I Remember what we were talking about? The Stanley Tunnel? Oh. They accidentally left the door open. Oh, your, our meter's going off, look. It's constant. Oh, maybe it's something electrical. Yeah, it could be. This is going to be a lot bigger, but there's something else over here. Oh. Why 
happen. That's just like a pressure valve, like. Hey, I'm glad we got to come down here. This is pretty awesome. All right, before we get caught, I want to get out of here though. That school was open. All right, I'm gonna do them a favor and close it too for them, so no one else comes in here. What? They have keys to get in there. But they didn't. Oh, okay. but there's somebody in there. Yeah, like, okay. Close it. I didn't get to explore the other side over there. There's probably an employee down here, so we're gonna leave that open just in case. Just in case. Hey, and if you're wondering, remember I was showing you these like really cool artifacts. This used to be an actual like like fridge back in the day. This is a an ice box. Pretty cool. So we just made it back to our bedroom and I don't know if I showed you the tour. I actually hit my head right there earlier. I'm sure a lot of people have hit their heads there, but I was kind of like doing one of these like backwards, like holding my laptop and like boom. But yeah, we're at the very, very top floor. It's really hot up here. That's probably why it's so haunted. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Isn't it like supposed to be cold or something? Yeah, yeah it's kind of. I guess in the winter time this is a nice probably stays warmer up here in the winter time compared to the other no it's really cold in the winter bridge said that when they wear jeans have the window open uh, and they were freezing on the fourth floor i don't know what floor anyways i'm gonna have my camera really close by and this is not the end of the video we're gonna you know keep our ears open it is almost Three o'clock in the morning, we have 10 minutes until, and I don't know, we're gonna see what happens. And plus, I'm gonna show you what this place is like in the morning, and also let you know how my sleep was in the middle of the night. See if we see anything, if we hear anything. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't know. Where did it come from? I don't even know, it came from like, maybe the drawer, or I don't know. What the, I'm over here. what the heck was that? I did hear that. What was that? It was a whisper. It was? I swear. I heard it too. Was it coming from out there? I don't know. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but the Stanley, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, I think ever since I got into making these kind of videos, people have been suggesting us come to the Stanley. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm here. We got here a little bit earlier. We have a really nice view. There's like, I'll show you in the daytime, but that is a maze. It's called the, the Stanley Maze. It was actually inspired by the movie The Shining. One thing I have to say about the Stanley, the internet is a little faster than other hotels. Like, last night we stayed at the Brown Palace. I was going to make a video there, but I was so tired. It's in Denver. Happens to be a haunted hotel. Very cool. Has the whole Queen Mary vibe. And the internet, like I paid extra. I'm not trying to say anything bad about this place, but I paid extra for the internet. And it was so slow. Like, I don't know. Brown Palace, man. Y'all need some better. Y'all need the internet that the Stanley Hotel has. <laughs> you know what I mean? After Robin and Pat showed me their room, uh, I don't know why I even said I was like, hey, you want to wanna come see my room? <laughs> and, you know, this room is, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's pretty nice.
They say that little kids haunt the hallways too. There's nobody here. You heard it was like a knock, right? Yeah, I heard it. I forgot to show you what was up there. Oh, babe. Babe, look what I found. Come here. You're going to freak out when you see this. So when Melissa was up here, she didn't have any light. But you're going to freak out. Okay, you know the story too. All right. Remember you said that we should shine light up here? I never got to. Oh, yeah. Look. Red rum. How come I said? Oh, it's red rum, not red. Oh, you got hey. me scared there. <laughs> Somebody, did you knock on our door? Yeah. Did you knock on our door? No. Somebody knocked on our door. Yeah. I don't know. I came out here. That's why I came out here. I'm glad Robin came out here because I, I kind of thought maybe she knocked on my door. But I looked out here, there's nobody here. We would have heard her door close. So red rum backwards is murder. What? I want to go back to our room now. <laughs> hey, by the way, let me know if you're digging the longer video or, I don't know, I might even make this a part one and a part two. Chances are you're probably watching part two. I kind of had to because some people might watch part one and then, yeah, you know, I want to want you to be excited about watching my videos. A lot of you are. Thank you for your support. Well, Melissa and I are just chilling here. We're just going to stay up as late as we possibly can. But off camera right now, we just heard it sounded like, I don't know, maybe some teenage kids or something. And I take a peek out there, didn't see anybody. So I turned the TV on right now, and there's this channel called the Stanley Steamer. And they're actually driving one of those steam powered cars dang that is so awesome like those cars didn't run off of gasoline <laughs> nice what so melissa's taking a shower right and she's like hey you have to come here and check this out so when you look into this mirror like i don't know if you could see my eyes it's really weird it looks like a dead person looking back at me yeah no same here you know what's crazy is the camera lens is doing it all right so if you can see that right there happening, that like that's that's happening to my eyeballs right now. Like imagine that. Two of those on my eyes. It's really freaky. Whoa. What about this one? Will it, do it? it won't do it with this. It's only this one. Around my camera lens right there. That's what I'm seeing on my on both my eyeballs. It's like a weird, like, I don't know, they're like black eyes. I don't know, I just, I find that really strange. I've looked in a lot of mirrors before that were foggy and it's like there's another set of eyes following you, like on your eyes. And then, but it wouldn't do it with this mirror. This mirror was fogged up. Sounds like somebody's trying to get in my room. There's nobody out there. Just the cleaning people. Should actually be nobody in the hotel unless they're staying for more than one night. So this is the McGregor room, also known as the, the dining room that Elizabeth Wilson got blown into and broke her ankles. 
This is so cool, we actually get to see it. They opened it up. So the bar that I was just in right now, pretty cool, it even has like pictures of some of the cast from Dumb and Dumber, but that's where the famous bar scene is at, where Jim Carrey is there, and you know, he's supposed to meet like his lady friend, and he's waiting there for many hours, and then on his way out, he sees this picture of like, you know, the moon landing, and he's like, no way, we landed on the moon! But anyways, they're doing some renovations out here, doing some painting. I mean, it's an old building. I'm sure they're, you know, you got to be on top of things like this, but I mean, this is, you know, pretty old place. So they got to keep it looking good. There's still snow at the peak of certain mountains out here. Believe it or not, the weather yesterday was 90 degrees up here. So just to give you an idea, like there's probably snow all year round in some of these mountains. I would not recommend coming here on the weekend if you want to have a really awesome experience come here during the week let them know that your boy Omar sent you and hey I do appreciate you being a part of this adventure I'm gonna start letting you go if you want to see some more videos here at the Stanley let me know here in the comments my friend James came here check out his channel uh, you know the fam it's not it could come with me on this trip but yeah, he has a video that he did here too. I gotta go, but before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace.